How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about this right here. This is Flash.Android.com, and this is a really cool way to get Android AOSP or Android Open Source Project on your Pixel device. So, if this is something you're interested in, this is kind of a really sweet little tool. So, the way this is going to work is you're going to click right here and say Get Started. This is going to require um, a Pixel on Pixel 2 or above, so like Pixel 1 doesn't work. Okay, but Pixel 2 and above should work and you should be able to use this to flash AOSP. So let's just show you how it works. So we're going to click Get Started. And I've already downloaded and installed the USB drivers. And if you've done the initial first two sections in our course here at PhoneLab, you'll have the drivers on your, on your computer as well. So I'm not going to skip that. So I'm going to say Already Installed. So we're going to say Yes, Allow ADB. Okay, and it looks like it's Pending Authorization. So I'm going to come over here to my Pixel 2, swipe up, hit allow. Um, if you don't have USB debugging turned on, then you need to go into settings, and you guys should know this if you've been around PhoneLab long enough. Tap on your build number, turn it on, go to system, advanced, developer options, and make sure that USB debugging right there is turned on, right? Okay, just so you know. So it does say we're connected, so this is a Pixel 2 XL or a Tanium, Tamian, I'm not sure how to say that. So we're going to click on that, and then it says, what do you want to install? Um, so you can do two options for AOSP. You've got the AOSP Master with Phones, AOSP Master with Phones Throttled. It's the newer one. I'm just going to say this one, and then I'm going to say, yeah, go ahead and wipe. And you can pick some other options in here if you want to turn things on and off and kind of have some nice things set up for you as well. So that's what I've got going here. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. Gives you some information. It's going to factor reset device and flash AOSP to it. So we're going to go ahead and say uh, confirm. And it's going to communicate with device back and forth. You're probably going to get some different pop-ups you're going to have to kind of uh, work with as you go here. So I went ahead and said it, do it, and it looks like it is connected um, in bootloader mode over here on the phone. So that's a good thing. And currently it's downloading the software. Now, so one of the other cool things you can do here while we're taking a break from that flash is you can come over here to the factory images and you can select your device, which mine is the Pixel 2 XL. Scroll to the latest firmware or whichever firmware you prefer to flash. And instead of hitting the link to download it, you can just click Flash. And that brings you right to the Flash tool. You enable ADB. You uh, make sure your device is communicating correctly with uh, the, the system here. You hit Connect. And right there is the latest build you just set up to Flash. And then you click Install. So to Flash back to stock firmware um, with this tool or Flash AOSP, you can do both. Pretty awesome. Let's go back to our Flash or AOSP now. This process from here, it tells you um, just basically do not do anything unless you are told to when it comes to the device and do not unplug it. And we're going to wait. This process is going to take as long as it does based on your, your internet speed, right? So if your connection speed is really good, it's not going to take terribly long. If it's not so good, it might take, could be hours because it's going to download the AOSP um, source firmware and um, flash it to the device. So that's kind of what we're waiting on here. While this happens, you may get some different pop-ups. Um, so be, be aware and kind of on the lookout for those pop-ups so that you're, you know, because it'll tell you to do different things and interact. And one of those things is when it changes modes or it reboots the bootloader, you have to reselect the device. So you, you'll kind of notice that as we go through this, um, or you may have to. So mine may not because I've done it before, but you may have to reselect things. And basically, it'll just give you a pop-up and say, select, reselect device, and you'll click that. And then once you reselect the device, it'll give you a list. You click on the device, you say connect, and then the process will keep moving. And I had to do that the first time I did it three times. Um, so just be kind of aware of that, that if you're doing this for the first time, you may have to do the same thing. So... We're just waiting for the software to install. You actually did get a sneak peek of it because I had already flashed it, and this is just a repeat to show you how it's done. And I'll, I'll show you this AOSP and what it exactly looks like. 
um, and what is in it and so on. As soon as it boots up, we'll take a closer look once we get this flash completely done. Um, this obviously does require an unlocked bootloader. Oh, and look at that. So it didn't give me any pop-ups. So we're done. Back to select devices. Here you can see, yes, bootloader is unlocked because it gives you the warning screen. Um, this one does tell you an ID, which is kind of interesting. Um, and it's going to factory reset and boot up with our new AOSP ROM here on my Pixel 2 XL. Um, we'll watch it boot up. Oh, and there you go. See? AOSP. Stock boot animation. That isn't no Pixel boot animation because this is stock Android. Bare bones Android um, on this Pixel, which is kind of cool. I haven't seen this in quite a long time. So let's let it boot up and then we'll take a closer look at it. All right, here it is. AOSP on my Pixel 2 and uh, Pixel XL, Pixel 2 XL. Here it is. This is AOSP, right? Isn't this? It almost looks old, right? It's just <laughs> so old school. Um, pretty, pretty fun actually. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging it. Just, 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 to, just seeing a different look for a while, right? So let's just see what's on here, right? The other thing that's interesting: there's no setup wizard. It literally boots just like this. Zip, boom, you're in, right? I mean, you got the old school search bar. I mean, blocky. It's 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 unique it's unique look there's there's your apps right bare bones right there's not even google applications on here okay that's how bare bones this is um i mean you don't even have uh what do you call it um google play store right i mean it's <laughs> it's that bare bones um i'm sure you guys could you could you could you could um flash those over you could sideload those applications to get your Google applications all functioning and make this thing a fully functioning device but it's AOSP this is stock Android okay so let's just look at some stuff just to check it out so here's your here's your different things clock timer stopwatch it looks pretty standard right um, file manager you know nothing too fancy there gallery for pictures right messenger contacts you know just just kind of showing it to you just so you can get a feel search it's so old school it's like it almost hurts um web view right how about look at this dude this is so crazy looking um let's just go to phone lab tech.com Oh, look, it didn't even auto put in a, an S. Let's try that. Oh, well, it's not going to work because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. Duh. But that's, that's how you're doing your, your webs and your internet and stuff. It's just so wild looking. All right, so here you go. Here's the rest of it. You can see down here we are on AOSP, right? Again, build. You can turn, you know, turn on developer options if you want to do that. Oh, look right here. Android version S. Look at this. Look, it's so crazy looking. Oh, it's nuts. Let's see something. So Android 10, right? And this is where you can you can actually spin this thing until it's a uh, a Q, right? And I think that's the there it is. Android Q. Yeah, it's it's sorry, I'm just kind of geeking a little bit. This is just kind of fun to play with um something so different, you know. Um and then even even here, man, look. Uh, uh, update right there is July 5th, 2020, right? This is like, you know, pretty bleeding edge um, software update and software on this thing. So it'd be pretty cool. Hey, let me know if you're interested in um, going ahead and trying to get Google applications on this thing. I'm sure there's a form or somewhere out there that tells you how to do it. I'm sure we could just sideload them. But if you're interested in something like that, and that'd be pretty cool. And I'm, and I'm sure like you could get in here and, yeah, home settings. So I'm sure there's different things you can do in here. Dot notifications, icons, home screen rotation. Holy cow. Oh, my word. I mean, this is it's really designed for, like, developers to have a device that's so pure Android that they can develop on it without any other third-party bugs. I think that's really what this is designed for. But um, it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. So there you go, guys. That's how to get AOSP here on your Pixel device if this is something you'd be interested in or a customer might be interested in or whatever. Um, just want a really clean stock Android experience. It's definitely, definitely cool. Definitely some interesting things you can do out there um, and stuff you can mess with that is 
really pretty neat. Let's see if you can get a, a, a widget that actually looks... Nope, still looks old. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's great. Good stuff. You know, if this is something you're interested in, there it is. That's how you do it. You, if you, Since you have an online bootloader, you can always flash back to stock firmware on the Pixel um, with my firmware flashing video and get it all back to normal if you're not interested in AOSP. But I thought it was cool and I thought it'd be something interesting to cover. So there it is. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.